All right, well, I'm sure you've seen plenty of YouTube videos of guys jumping out of aircraft. Today, I'm here to talk to you about how they successfully jump out of the aircraft and all, all the coordination that goes in and getting them safe on the ground. These drop zones don't typically about a 07 start time or four time for the jumpers and the jump masters. So what I will do is I'll try to get my DZ pie there about 0630. And then once, once my team's assembled and I get accountability of everybody, we're moving all equipment onto either pickup trucks or razors and we're maneuvering it out to the point of impact for the drop zone. Once we get out there, I'm ensuring that there's no hazards on the drop zone. I and mean, then I have my medical team go out in our medical extraction vehicles, whatever they may be. And I'm telling them to go out and drive around every square inch of that drop zone and ensuring that their vehicles are not going to get stuck anywhere. And then I'm kind of looking at the timelines and basically about two hours prior to time on tag and I'm sending up those pie balls or point of impact balls. We'll send up the uh, pie balls, we'll have a stopwatch, we'll have our compass, and then we have uh, altitude meter, it's, it's actually used for model rockets. And we just monitor it going up. And then we have conversion charts that we use based upon what the altitude meter says, basically equate to the amount of drift based on the wind speeds at higher elevations. Once we get a little bit close to the time on target, we'll send up those final pie balls, we'll get our readings, we'll confirm, and then we're gonna stop putting on our, our marking panels. Say, hey, this is gonna be a release point. We'll tell the pilots this is going to be your uh, your azimuth, your trajectory for the flight. And once we get the aircraft up in the air, we throw out our streamers. We confirm it good. Start start throwing paratroopers out of the aircraft. get here and everything is just go, 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 and there's very little friction points. And when you plan big operations that with a lot of moving pieces, like that takes, that takes some planning. I enjoy the job a lot. You know, I like jumping a lot too, don't get me wrong. But um, I like doing it as well because then I get to mentor other guys too. And I know they are learning the best way that we've learned over the years to conduct these operations. Okay. 